Hello Libra viewers. I'm sorry this video might be a little bit shorter than my usual videos. Um, I will be back to my normal schedule on the 15th, so just bear with me. Maybe something relevant with birds right now. A bird started chirping as soon as this video started. <laughs> I'm trying to come back to you with a, I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. I've been fantasizing about you sexually. Let's see what else. I've thought about going on a vacation with you. This person is just enchanced, enhanced by, uh, entranced by you. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally show up somewhere where I know you'd be. I'm thinking about what you said. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I actually get a good energy overall from this person. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I think this is someone that normally does treat people pretty well. I think that you met them at a strange time in their life. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. Because like the energy I'm getting is this doesn't feel like someone that takes you for granted. This someone that this feels like someone that does put you on a pedestal. This, this feels like someone who does think that you're amazing. I just feel like they think you're very sexy. You're very, um, I mean, we have them, you know, fantasizing about you sexually here and wanting to go on a vacation with you. Maybe there's a vacation you guys went on where you guys had sex and they're thinking about that right now. You know, they could be nostalgic right now as well. Um, I'm getting like a businessman or businesswoman energy for some of you, not for all of you, but I'm just getting the energy that like, I mean, this person does feel mature and grounded. This just feels like somebody that maybe, um, maybe they had a lot going on when you guys met. It feels, I mean, it, it feels like someone that does have respect for the people that they date. You know, I'm not getting a bad energy here. I'm getting that maybe it was more just like the wrong timing kind of energy is what I'm feeling here. So I feel like maybe you've just leveled up. I feel like you're very confident. You're very sexy right now. And it's really drawing this person in. You might even be doing reconciliation magic. And it seems like that's working for you. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. So I feel like this person is the chaser right now. Like they're, they want to chase you. You know, they're coming towards you is the energy I'm getting here. But it looks like some of them are waiting for that clear opening. You know, they, they just, I feel like they just, they have you on this pedestal. Like they really, um, like they really, they really see you as someone that's valuable, someone that's successful, someone that's beautiful, attractive. Like I see them chasing you, like them wanting to be the pursuer here. I feel like you kind of switched the energy up possibly. Like maybe for some of you, it's like you were chasing them and you got, you know, they had a lot going on. So you got kind of tired of them being so wish-washy, but now you, you kind of switch it up a little bit. So I feel like they're the ones starting to chase you. I regret what I said to you. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by that I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. So I feel like this person might have ended things prematurely here. Like maybe they just, um, this could have been someone that was focused on their business or their finances or just had a, like maybe focused on school or something with like pentacles energy is what I'm getting. They were focused on like mental health, stability, uh, hobbies, school, work, whatever it might've been. And I feel like they're more successful now. Like I feel like they're getting to that point where they want to be. And I feel like in the past, it's like they, they felt like they didn't have room in their life for a relationship and they didn't want to half-ass it with you. You know, they didn't want to just give you a little bit of what you deserve. They wanted to make sure that if they had a relationship with you, that they'd be able to give you everything. And they just, they had other things that they were focused on at the time. Um, and they're kind of regretting that. I feel like they're regretting ending that. They wish that they had just figured things out with you. You know, and it's like now that their life is more stable... 
now that they are in a better place, you know, financially, could even be like a living situation, like maybe they were living at home or they were living, you know, with roommates or, or something that they weren't happy with when you guys were talking. And now they've gotten out of that living situation. It could even be like a karmic third party where they were living with a karmic and they had some stuff going on and now they've gotten to a better place. Like, I feel like they've either moved to a new location or like they've gotten like a new job or like a career. It's like the goals that they were trying to meet when they met you, um, they've met those goals. So they, they're in a better position now to be able to offer you the love that you were seeking back then. But, you know, some time has gone by, so they're not really sure if you're still open to this or not. You're my best friend. I love you. So, yeah, they still feel that this connection is very deep, even if it's been a while since you guys have talked. I am returning. I want to be with you now. Gossip and rumor played, rumors played a role in our separation. I think that's just for one or two specific people there. My feelings fear is stronger than I let on. I look at your pictures often. Yeah, there's like this energy of like, I just, I keep hearing like they think you're so like attractive. Like they're so physically attracted to you and like emotionally, mentally, like they feel like you're, um, like you're one of the few people that can keep them on their toes. It's like you're, like you're you're intelligent you're strong you're charismatic i'm just getting that you're not like most people that they've met it's like you're like a mystery to them it's like you're you're just very enchanting you know there's something about your energy that makes them just want to know more and more and more about you it's like you really know how to um it's like you've got game is basically what i'm getting here you know it's like you know how to draw them in like maybe you didn't in the past i don't know i'm not sure but I know like in the present moment, at least it's like maybe you switch things up on them and now it's like you're the one pulling them in. You're standing in your power. You're focusing on yourself. And so it's like now this person is like feeling your energy and wanting to give to you because they're in a position now where they, you know, they're, they're doing okay financially or with their living situation. So they, you know, they want to talk to you. There's so much that they want to say to you. Yeah, they were also afraid of how quickly they were falling in love. So they, they ran away and they lied to themselves and tried to convince themselves it was best for the two of you to go your separate ways. Because I think they just, you know, they had other things that they wanted to focus on. But it's like now that their life is more stable, they want to, um, they want to come back around here. But, but yeah, they're not sure, you know, because they know that they lied about their feelings. So they're not sure if maybe you're uninterested and detached at this point. Because they see you as someone... I just keep getting like, like I see like a, like a red dress or like a suit or something. Like they just see you as like, I don't know, like if fancy is the right word, but it's just like, they see you as, um, just like seductive and strong and powerful, like, like goddess energy or like God energy. You know what I mean? Like they just, they, they do definitely do not see you as average. Like they see you as far above average. They see you as someone that has, you know, could have almost anyone that, that you want. You know, they see you in that energy. So they're like, well, like, do I have a chance still? Like, they're just, they're not sure. But they want to manifest a reunion here with you. They want to, they want this connection. They want to fix this, but they're not sure where to start. You know, because they're kind of thinking like, this person doesn't seem super insecure to me though, but maybe just a little bit insecure just based on, on, um, like what they did you know what I mean because I feel like they know that you deserve better and they're not sure if they can really explain to you like hey I was focused on you know finances or my living situation or my divorce or this or that like can you understand that can we give this a, another shot like I just feel like they're not sure how open you would be to that energy and the next card I just pulled was I regret letting you go I never should have left and the last one that I just looked at and it's like, I feel like this person is pretty confident though. Like I really do get a good energy overall. I feel like you guys could be a power couple. I feel like you guys could make a lot of money together too. Like I feel like this is someone that would really support you, like support your hustle and you would support their hustle. Like you guys would really be on the same page. I feel like you're both very mature and very grounded and logical in the right ways. So I feel like you guys would really... um I just feel like I just get like power couple energy like you guys would really, you know, be loyal to each other and be able to, to support each other. I get like a king and queen of pentacles kind of energy here. 
So, um, so yeah, that's what I have for you guys. If you want a private reading, I can go more in depth in, you know, into this person, into whatever you want to know about them, really, or whatever you want to know about yourself, you know, I can answer multiple questions. So just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. The email is right below in the description box below this video. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, any donations are also really appreciated. My donation links are also below in my description box. Thank you guys so much for watching.